What's good, YouTube? What's up, gang? Back with another video. Back with another motherfucking story time for y'all. Because I ain't doing it in a little minute. Let's get it. Talking about how this girl played me. My crush played me. Went to, we went to this party. Me and my gang. Me and my crew. Me and my squad. You know, Darian, Tony. That's basically my gang. My squad right there. Go to this party. And, you know, I'm, I'm swagged up. You know, I think I had on, like, a button-up shirt. With like, I was wearing the hat. I was, I was looking kind of swaggy. I'm not gonna lie. Went to this party and we kind of wasn't feeling it. We weren't going inside. We was kind of like standing on the corner, cause I just, you know, I mean, parties is my thing, but at the same time, it's like it's not. So you know, I had to like build up that that courage to go inside this party. Here in St. Louis, you gotta watch out for niggas. Niggas, I can't really tell you what type of niggas are. They loud as hell. They ghetto as hell. Dumb as hell. They just some niggas. You see some niggas in there? No? Cool. How many hoes in there? Excuse my language. How many hoes in there? This or this, that. I'm like, all right, bet. Let's go inside. Walk up in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's actually pretty cool. It's lit. We sit down. It's whatever. No, I forgot what it was, but the whip was out. The whip was out and the nene was out. You know, so when that came on, I'm like, ah, oh, bro, we, we got to hit the dance floor. So, you know what I'm saying? We go to the dance floor. Now, I kind of know how to dance, but I kind of don't. But Darren and Tony, they know how to dance. Darren, he's the he's the true dancer in our group. So I would tell Darren, we would get in the circle. I would tell Darren to start first. Darren, you know, he's doing this thing. He, ah, ah, you know. Doing my little nae, nae you know what I'm saying. Hitting that shit. Ah, ah, ah. The circle started getting bigger. Everybody started, you know, joining for real, for real. And I don't know, like, that, was, that just took us to a whole nother level. It was lit, but it got lit turf. Anytime I go to a party, I'm looking for food. I ain't looking for girls. I'm looking for food. It better be some free food in this bit. It better be some drinks in this bit. I look some. I give me some food. I go back to the table. I'm grubbing. I'm. I'm. I'm jigging it. Jigging it. Eat. I'm. Mm, jigging it. Eat. Mm. They start playing that booty hop scotch. Booty hop scotch. You know that jumping the jump that booty. Jumping the jump that. But y'all know. Y'all ain't know what that means. What them girls on the day. That's, that's one thing a party need, and when I go to the party, I need I need to see food. I need to see I need to see girls twerking. That's all. Like I I will pay for a party. You just gotta have food and ass. Now this whole time I'm eyeing this female. By the end of this party, we should be talking to the female, getting a number. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. She was a light skinned girl. I could tell I could tell she was my type because she was she wasn't dancing. She was playing the innocent role. She was just standing there by her by herself. By herself, I ain't think she had no friends. She looked like she was a little church girl. I'm like, ooh, well, that's me right there. Darian, he had picked this girl. He was looking at now. Tony, he ain't really had his yet. I think he was still looking. So this whole time, I'm looking at this light skinned girl like, man, how am I gonna talk to this girl? I don't have the courage inside of me, especially at a party, cause you know parties be loud as shit. I'm supposed, I gotta get close to you. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Tell you a little something that you wanna hear. I don't got time for all that. When I go to a party and I see a girl, I try to like keep looking at her until she looks at me. And then see if we can have like a little eye orgy going on. And if not, if we don't have that eye orgy, then I guess I move on. And as I'm looking at this girl, another girl comes up to me. This other girl comes out of nowhere. She walks through my friends, comes to me, and she's like, she's like, who are you? I'm Darian. She's like, oh, and well, my friend want to talk to you. Where's she at? She was like, don't trip. The fuck? I'm like, damn, so who is this girl that want to talk to me? I'm looking around. I'm hoping it's the light-skinned girl. I'm looking around I'm like, who the fuck is this girl that want to talk to me? I don't see anybody looking at me, nothing. This short, look cute girl comes up to me. She walks through my, my homeboys. I'm like, damn, hey, she brave as hell. See, I wouldn't have never done that. She walks through my homeboys, comes up to me. I'm like, hold on, hold on. I, I know I ain't got the juice like that. She was short, she cute, I'm like, I already know what you want. You want my number? And she was like, how you know I want your number? How you know I want to be, I don't just want to be friends. I'm like, oh, we can, we can do that too, you know? So we end up swapping numbers. The light-skinned girl, I guess she sees that, gets kind of jealous. And I fucked that up. Darian, he tried talking to this girl. He didn't get that number. She was playing games. Tony, I forgot what happened with Tony girl. A week passes, we texting out of that. Um, I hang out with her, I see her. I'm like, cool, like this is actually getting somewhere. Nope, nigga. Guy said, yeah. she was still stuck on her ex. And I kind of, and I, I was thinking like, what was the point of you getting my number? Like, cause you thinking I had something. Look, man, look, she had her own job. She had her own car. She lived right down the street. I'm like, damn. 